Ladies and gentlemen, a former Deputy Secretary of Defense and Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Gordon England. Well, what a great night. I'll tell you, anytime you're back with sailors and Marines and Coasties, it's a great night. I mean, this is wonderful. I just want to thank everyone who serves and all the veterans here tonight who are serving, and especially all those on distant shores protecting our freedom. God bless you all. Terrific to be back with you. <clears throat> <clears throat> so first, I want to uh, offer my congratulations to all the Lone Sailor Award recipients, General P.X. Kelly, Dan Ackerman, Ted Turner, all great Americans that have served our country with honor and distinction, and it's my honor and pleasure to be with you this evening. Now, it's also a great pleasure for me to be here this evening uh, to introduce a, a very, very special friend, a patriot, a politician, bank executive, a journalist, a small business owner, who's now a consultant with a law firm, Bracewell and Giuliani, and that's the Honorable Kay Bailey Hutchinson. Kay is a Texan. First of all, little known fact, her great-great-grandfather actually signed the Declaration of Independence for the state of Texas. Now, that really makes you a Texan. And her husband, Ray, is an enlisted Navy, so that sort of makes her naval also. I first met Senator Hutchinson back in 1993. Back in 1993, I was running the Fort Worth Company of General Dynamics building F-16s, and there was an unexpired Senate seat. You may remember Louis Benson was appointed to be a Treasury Secretary by President Bill Clinton. He left the Senate, so there was an unexpired term, and uh, Bob Kruger was named Senator, but then had an election for the remainder of the term, and uh, K. Billy Hutchison entered that election, and I knew Bob Kruger, but I also knew uh, the reputation of Kay Bailey Hutchison because she was a highly respected and popular Texas legislator. She was at the time serving as state treasurer. She was also known as a champion of veterans and service members in Texas, their families, and all the bases and all the businesses in the state. But she really had two ideas that I liked a lot. When she was state treasurer, she proposed a debt limit for the state of Texas. And at that time, there were also people who were proposing an income tax for the state of Texas, and she opposed an income tax. So she wanted a debt limit and no income tax. And so all I can say is, Kay, you should have been president of the United States. <laughs> Actually, the New York Times said that she was the most likely woman to be, first woman to be uh, either vice president or president, and I always felt the same way, and I expect she had the opportunity, but for family reasons, I probably decided not to. She won that election in 1993 by a two-to-one two margin. Then she ran in 1994 and won again by a huge margin. The rest is history. She was the first woman in Texas to represent Texas in the Senate. She was reelected re three times by, la by large margins. She actually, in the history of Texas, had more votes than any politician in the state of Texas until George Bush, governor of Texas, ran for president. That's the only person ever drew more votes than the senator. Now, she, as a, at the national level, she was recognized on defense issues as a tireless leader an advocate for military forces. After the Cole tragedy, uh, K. Billy Hutchinson, Senator Hutchinson, the one who introduced legislation into the Senate to provide survivor benefits for service people killed in action. Up until then, if you were a survivor, you just went to the VA, but she introduced a bill and it became law, and so, K., I thank you on behalf of all those people giving our lives for our country. She uh, finished her in two <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
In 2012, she finished her term as chairman of the Board of Visitors at the, <coughs> pardon me, the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. <laughs> but uh, I counterbalance that. Kay was also the sponsor of USS San Antonio, and I just want to tell you a little bit of a story about that, because real Texan, Kay brought her own bottle to break and to christen the ship. <laughs> But she brought a Texas bottle. She brought a magnum of champagne. I mean, one of these big bottles. The glass is probably a quarter inch thick. And of course, as you know, when the bottle is about to be hit by the sponsor, they score the bottle so it'll break easy. Of course, this bottle was not scored. So Kay gave it a good whack, and of course, it just hit and bounced right off. But the champagne did shake up. So she gave one more swing and it bounced off the second time, but the champagne shook up some more. So the third time, I mean, she really hit the bow of the ship and there was literally an explosion. <laughs> the next day in the San Antonio newspaper, there was a photograph. Uh, and the photograph was all foam. It's all you could see was foam. It's sort of a little bit of pieces here and there of a person and the uh, byline said, K. Bill, Senator K. Bailey Hutchinson christens herself. <laughs> so, so it was a great, great evening with K, uh, with the ship, and, uh, and I'll tell you, it's, it's indicative of the senators who's down to earth, and, um, you know, not pompous, but down to earth, knew all the constituents in Texas. You're going to see a lot about her career. She is a journalist. She's had four books, most recently one just released, Unflinching Courage, Pioneering Women Who Shaped Texas. It was just released earlier this year. She's a member of the Bank of America's Global Advisory Council. She's also a CNBC contributor. This April, the Dallas City Council, by the way, Dallas is a very democratic city in the state of Texas, but the Dallas City Council voted to name the Convention Center the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center Dallas. And University of Texas recently established the K. Bailey Hutchinson Center for Latin American Law within the School of Law where she is a graduate. So please enjoy the video.